Hey there, friends. Thanks for checking in. Think about it Thursday. Before I get into that, I want to acknowledge the death of Gaston Glock. He passed away yesterday, December 27th, at the age of 94 years old. If anybody deserves acknowledgement for what he has done in the firearm industry, it is Gaston Glock. And a lot of people are mourning his death. I don't necessarily mourn his death. I appreciate what he did when he was on this earth, but he lived a very long and prosperous life. We're all going to be there someday. I just hope that you and I could do as well. But it is Think About It Thursday, and what have I been thinking about? I have been thinking a lot about the Glock 26. It was commonly known as the Baby Glock. You don't hear that too often anymore, but seven, eight, nine years ago, this was so popular. I think it still is popular today. However, I have reasons for thinking about this because I believe a while back, this was among the most popular carry handguns in the country. But I recently did a survey with my Choose Only One video and I asked people to share their primary CCW handgun. And two people said they carried the Glock 26. People love them. They say, you know, 3.4 inch barrel, standard 10 round magazine, accepts higher capacity magazine, feels like a full size handgun when firing. But the popularity, I believe, has died off a bit. Why is that? Well, the Glock 43X shares the same profile. It is thinner, a bit lighter. If we put this behind the Glock 26, you can't even see it because it essentially shares the same profile, but it is thinner. Okay, we can see right there. And it actually has 15 round shield arm mags that many people are using, although the 26 has additional capacity mags. I think Glock kind of cut into the G26 with the 43X. Now, at one time, I owned three Glock 27s. I love them. It had one with the OD green frame, one with flat dark earth, lone wolf conversion barrels. Now I don't own any and that Glock 26 pretty much sits in the safe. What were many of the comments I got? Well, the revolver people came out. Many people carry revolvers. The 1911s, uh, Little Caltech P-17s came out, believe it or not. But only two people chose the Glock 26. Many people said they opted for the smaller and lighter weight handgun. Here's a Springfield Hellcat. Here's a P-365. When these were developed, you could see that the weight is much less. It's thinner. It's lighter. It has higher capacity with 12 rounds here. This P365 versus 10 rounds. It's four ounces heavier. People are opting for smaller options. Glock did that with the 43X. However, fewer people carried. I only had a couple people say they carried the Glock 43X. And that's just the comments that I received. But I found that interesting. And I was thinking a lot about it. How things have changed in terms of the Glock 26. This, this handgun, which I love, I once considered it my favorite Glock, pretty well sits in the safe. I have excess big dot sight on there. I love shooting it, but I don't shoot it because there are so many options out there. So what has happened to the Glock 26? Is it as popular as it once was? Do you have a Glock 26 that you, you keep in the safe, but you don't necessarily carry it on the hip? Do you feel that it still has its place in the world? Or do you feel that it was replaced for the Glock lovers out there by the Glock 43X? Or do you still carry it and think that it's among the best handgun it's out there. It's certainly reliable. It's certainly an excellent handgun, but when we consider size and weight for CCW purposes, something like this just suits the bill in many people's eyes a little more than the Glock 26. And for that matter, they opt for the Hellcat, the P365, GX4, you name it. There are so many out there now. And, and Glock did it with the 43X, but not quite as small 
and light as some of the other manufacturers. I've also heard that with the passing of Gaston Glock, the Glock may get a little more innovative. And perhaps that could be true, but I also know that these manufacturers have engineers and development teams, marketers, everything. They study the field and what's going on out there. I don't know how involved he was in his 90s in terms of innovation. They have a lot of law enforcement and military contracts. I don't know that things are going to change because he passed away, but we never know. But on Think About It Thursday, I'm wondering... If you still feel this has a strong place in the gun world or has it been shifted off in favor of something else. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.